What it do, YouTube? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Can we just take a quick shout out to the new color? I always have a little bit of color in my natural hair just because I feel like my natural hair color doesn't do my curls justice. They just kind of get lost at sea. Even if you just add some highlights, girls, let me tell you something, natural hair, curly hair tip number one. Highlights, even if they are red, even if they are blue, it just literally means a lighter color, a little sparkle. I just always feel like it really highlights my texture and it really helps you see like my curl pattern even more anyway this isn't a hair tutorial this is a tutorial about these maybelline situations i don't really know much about this maybelline i'm a little confused if you could just have your pr team reach out to me i just want to know no I'm, ki I'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i actually heard about this product a couple months ago it's supposed to be like some type of lip art situation i know you guys love you some lip demos like you did the fenty you guys show me so much love on the fenty one unfortunately there won't be any wig changery because I've obviously I'm confined to the, the curls the up to I've already you know how long it took do you know how much muscle mass I gained in my biceps from putting my hair up like this and getting it to stay okay this is a commitment unfortunately that means we don't do wigs when the natural hair is out that's just how life works but I'm really curious about these it's like a metallic lip kit of some sort I think it's cute. I mean, I guess if you're like into trying new, edgier, more multi-dimensional lip, you may really like this product. So there are eight of them and they come in these cardboard sleeve situations. I'm gonna be giving you the tea and trying on all eight of them and we're just gonna have fun with it because that's what ma makeup is so taken so serious. Girl, put down your Discover card. Just sit down, just relax, okay? It's fine. We're not parting the Red Sea here. We're just doing lip swatches, okay? Before we do get started, make sure you are a part of the Jackie Ina family, not just here on YouTube, okay? Subscribe. But the reason why I always say that in my videos, I know you guys are probably like, we're already subscribed, stop it. But believe it or not, 40% of my viewership on my videos only comes from people that are subscribed. So that tells me 60% of the people who are watching my videos aren't subscribed. I'm not judging. I know I'm not for everyone, but it doesn't hurt to ask, right? Do you feel me? So hey, if you're a 60 percenter, come just join the Jackie Anna family. You know it's lit. You know you love it, okay? We're on Snapchat, we're on Instagram, and we're on Twitter. And all of those are Jackie Ina. So while you're here, you might as well join those too, okay? As explained earlier, Maybelline came out with these python metallic lip kits let's read a little bit about the product shall we excuse me while i put on my reading glasses oh well sunglass spot thanks these are a little bit of a, an accidental look lip artistry made easy mix and match unique combinations of bold colors and different finishes with brand new maybelline new york python metallic lip kits these all-in-one compacts make it easy for anyone for anyone to customize expert lip looks by the way these were given to me in pr i'm doing this voluntarily i'm gonna get through the first one and show you guys what it looks like. I wonder what made them go with the cardboard sleeve and then they tape it on the sides. Like it's a little bit of annoying to take out. I do find that drugstore makeup in general sometimes, the packaging is just, they don't want people to steal. I get it, it's annoying. Some of us got nails and we would just appreciate the extra thought and stuff like that. You know, that's just a little bit of a bougie request. So as you can see, you have a two-sided compact with two different colors. I smell a faint-ish kind of vanilla smell. So the lip color itself is like a cream formula. And then the metallic part feels more like a powder, but it's, is it cream? I don't know, it's really hard to say. It's almost like a cream, it feels a little creamy to powder. It feels like a hybrid of both of them. Now, in theory, this idea is really no different than putting like eyeshadow on top of your lips. But who the hell is gonna carry around a big old eyeshadow palette, you know? And I feel like people don't even really buy single shadows anymore. Nah, they do, they do. I think that people are more into palettes nowadays. It's not really new or innovative, but there are a lot of things out there on the market that aren't really new and innovative, but people really find them helpful. For example, I always use the, be the Beauty Blender. They took a regular schmegular degular old sponge from the Bronx and changed the shape of it and now it's like the number one blending tool in all of Iceland, you know? Can you finesse it at home? Absolutely, with the stuff that you have. Of course, of course, of course. This just makes doing lip art and the whole, you know, trend of like 
foiled lips a little bit more accessible. And also not everybody knows how to color coordinate and pair different colors with each other. So for someone who just kind of wants to like get the look and go throw it in their bag, this could be kind of functional. I'm an artist, okay? So I give you the thoughts of myself personally and then I can also give you like, Okay, I'm not here for this, but like this is the everyday girl on the go type of thing. I do see that they are in stores now, at least according to Target.com. I see them listed. I see them listed as $7.99. I do see that Ulta, Ulta Beauty is trying it, charging it a whopping $9.99, so you get $2 extra. So, so basically that's just telling me that Ulta is trying to secure the bag in 2018. Well, guess what? We're gonna mosey on over to Target and get them for $2 less. The only problem is once you get to Target, you may be stuck in the abyss of Target and come out with a toaster and a lawnmower and other various other things that Target typically sucks you into. Price range is basically under $10, depending on where you buy them from. But Maybelline in general, when it comes to their lip products, like they just get it right. Okay, so the shade I'm gonna start off with is it's only right. We swatched her first, we've already compromised her. This is called number five, Passionate. Passionate from miles away. Passing with the things you say. Passionate from my eyes. Why don't you give me a lip brush though, Maybelline? Because this is supposed to be like, I don't, you know what? I'm gonna give the first go with a lip brush. I'm not really a fan of lip brushes, but just for the purposes of this demo, we're gonna do that first. And then if, I don't, if I'm not feeling it, I'll use my fingers on all the other applications. So first I'm gonna dip into the red in this palette. Wow. That's quite, even, wow, on camera, that's really pigmented. Okay, Mabes, okay, I see you. The brush that I'm using is, by the way, from Sigma, the one of, sorry, the L05 lip brush. It's not that I don't like lip brushes, I just don't like having to use them. So far, I think this applies very well. I mean, the pigmentation is way better on than it is swatched. I think they swatched, they swatched I. But on, these are like, very pigmented. Now granted, I did like really go in just because I don't like lip brushes. So I'm trying to get the job done quicker. You know, I'm not trying to keep going one scoop, blah, two scoop, blah. You know, like I'm just trying to dig and slap it on. Okay, so far, pigmentation is great, dude. So here's what the red looks like on its own. I think this is a great red. In person, it actually looks a little bit more sheer than it does on camera. But on its own, it's actually not that bad. Let's dab a little bit of the accent color on and see how we like that. Okay, you can't even see it on camera. Like I'd have to put on a lot to see this, what's going on? Can you guys see it? On camera at least, but in person? Yeah, that definitely made it metallic. Oh, okay, now I'm starting to finally see it. The way that this looks in person is going to be kind of different than how it looks on camera, and not everybody has a camera job, so it's not that deep. This actually looks really good. Like I, this is so much of a look that like I can't help but grab the keys, you know, the key Australias and really transform this into a look. You know what I mean? This is, this is hot. I like this. I'm trying to stop traffic with it. <laughs> now I'm finally starting to see the true pigmentation it deserves on camera, but it's kind of hard to mess up red. You know, like if you mess up red, just, just, just leave the country, just go, please, all right? And take your factory with you. Now, mind you, if you're not really into lip art, this is probably gonna serve you no purpose because this is obviously a product geared towards people who like pushing the envelope with their lips and just with their makeup in general. This next one is called Piercing. Oh, definitely piercing. It's like a, it's almost like a, per oh, I got it on my nose. It's almost like a really, really dark gray, but also purple. That's pigmented. Let's see the swatch, let's check out the swatch on that big guy. The lip cream is pretty sheer when swatched. Here's the shadow. I'm gonna give the finger application a go on this one and then if I don't like it, I'm just gonna clean it up with the lip brush. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's, ooh. With my finger, this is applying a little blotchy. A little blotching tin. It's also definitely not as precise, and I feel like if you're gonna go with a color like this, it has to be 
perfect. I don't wanna see a line out of place. I don't wanna see bleeding. I don't wanna see none. I wanna see perfect application or else I'm roasting you on Twitter. I am going to clean up the lines with the brush. I do feel like the lip brush also gives us more pigment. The finger kind of shears it out. That looks much better already, wow. Of course, Dennis would be making smoothies while I'm filming at 8 p.m. Sure, why not? In order for you to really get color payoff, you have to kind of scoop into this and get like a little chunk of the color because it is a little bit on the sheer side. It's very smooth, very comfortable to wear, and it almost feels like matte in texture, but not matte finish. Like it doesn't look matte, but the product feels matte. I think that these are probably best applied over that was not one of the smartest decisions that you've made, Jacqueline. Let's just pray it didn't get on your carpet. Oh my Jesus, oh dear, oh no. That's definitely shadow. Yep, that's shadow, that's, that's shadow, yeah, that's shadow. Note to self, don't dig into these the way you would dig into these, because these are definitely shadow and these are definitely not shadow, okay? Just so you know. I made the mistakes on camera so that you don't have to. Oh yeah, that looks way, way better applied with a brush, way better. 12 out of 10, five stars. Oh my God, this is hot. Let's just hit like around the Cupid's bow. This is bomb. I'm a fan. I don't know if I would wear it just because anybody got time. Maybe I will though. Maybe one day I'll just do it like for the gram, you know? Like this is definitely like a do it for the gram type of look, aesthetic, feel. She's a functional girl. I like my nudes. I like my pinks. I like my peachy colors, you know? Tom Ford, what's good, you know? Like she's coming for Tom Ford. I think that she's coming for these high-end lip brands. Oh, I get it. It's called piercing because it's silver. Oh, Maybelline. I've got to give it to you. You're just piercing came to do what the goths should have done in 1998 on Limp Biscuits album, that type of look and feel, you know? How you doing? I'm sorry, I just, my mirror is right there. I just couldn't help myself. Sorry, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move forward. They also feel like they're really easy to remove and so far, no stain. This next one is Venomous. I like that they called, ooh, that's stunning. Oh my God, you've got like an aquamarine duochrome and a blue Maybelline. So I'm gonna first start off with the blue. You might have just did something, Mabes. Oh, that color looks stunning on camera. You guys know how I feel about dark lips though and the pink, the, 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 that is what stops me from wearing colors like these because I just can't stand seeing the pink. It's like, I just don't like the contrast. I hate it. Cause this color is just so stunning. Ooh, ooh, she cute though. She real cute. Oh, this is gorgeous. Now the great thing about wearing a shadow on top of a lip color as opposed to like another foil gloss or like a lip topper, which I do love, I do. To be, I'm keeping it real. I think that the good thing about this look and this technique is a shadow tends to, in my opinion, last a lot longer because glosses sometimes, when you layer those like foiled glosses to get this look, they sometimes tend to like goop up and you know, they gather, like it just gets, it just gets really messy after a while, you know? I really just came here ready to roast, but this, is like low key popping. Like I love, this one's my favorite so far. Give me some sugar, I am your neighbor. Orpha Zanali, this is such an Orpha look. Like from the shades to the lip. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna take a picture on Instagram and tag Orpha in it. I think I'm gonna just do that. Is she giving you multi-dimensional glow? A little bit extraterrestrial? This is what I call lip art. May not be functional, it may not be for the girl next door, but we didn't invite her to this party, okay? We came here for the art. We're leaving with the art. And not even two videos ago, I was just talking about how I don't like green on my lips, but this I can do. This is like a deep, deep, almost teal green. Like that was so pretty. How's Maybelline gonna top this one? I don't know, girl. I don't know about this color. I'm not really a fan of like Phoebe Chapin. You know, it's funny because on the box, they tell you to use your fingers. Don't use your fingers. Take it from me, okay, your auntie, your real life auntie. Don't use your fingers. This next one is called Wild and it is appropriately named. 
It's a hot fuchsia pink, which is one of my least favorite colors. And this one's a little sheer. Like you can see how sheer it is. You can't see how sheer it is on camera because that neon is reflecting the light, but in person, you definitely have to build it up. Oh, she do smell good though. She smells real good. She can she 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 can come to the party. Yeah, she invited to the party for sure. Oh, I love how this looks on camera. They have paired this with a gold shade. I don't know if I'd want to see gold on top of fuchsia. This is again one of those camera trickery things because I think it looks really good on camera, but in person, I am not into it at all. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's a no for me, dog. Oh, this next one looks sketchy. Sketch city girl. Oh, ah. This is one of my least favorite color purples. This is in the shade Valiant. I hate this purple. I'm not that picky when it comes to colors. Like I like a lot of color, but this purple right here is I love you. You love me. We're one happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Ah, won't you say you love me too? Chica, chica, too. Chica, I'm, I'm, I'm too. Chica, chica, too. I just feel like this is giving me a little bit of Barney and I'm not here for it on the lips. I'm not, not with these golden undertones. I hate this color. Would not wear this one out of five stars. Well, what have we here? I'm actually really surprised at how much I'm really liking these. Girl, like I, I actually really like this. Like this is really cute. You gotta do glasses though. Like you can't wear this look and not wear glasses. It's just not. Who told you to wear your eyes with that makeup look, ma'am? Next color. This next one has Jackie O and Peachy Nude written all over it. It is called Provoked. You know, in the picture, it looks like a Peachy Nude. Yikes, cause it's definitely more mauve. So let's put the lip topper on top. I'm smearing it now. Wasn't really seeing much when dabbing it on, but now I'm like brushing it on and I see a lot more. This right here is like my favorite part. I do have a discrepancy though. This looks nothing like the picture. Like this looks like straight up gold. And that color, this isn't, this, this, ain't, this, ain't, this ain't gold. This, this, ain't, this, this is taupe. Okay, not even close not even close, Maybelline. For sure, she's definitely cute, but it's just not what I expected. I expected it to look like this, and I got this. You guys see that, right? Like, it's gold and like peach. Anderson, where are my skis? Anderson, where are my skis? Bouncing them around, bouncing around, bouncing. Oh, we're coming down to the last two, I'm getting sad. These are fun. These are actually like really fun. Like, I could see myself doing these like I could see these but I could see these being more fun to apply than sometimes makeup is about an experience and sometimes I feel like people spend more on higher end makeup because it's an experience it looks good it's fun to apply the packaging like everything from when you go to the from when you go to the counter and purchase the product and you take it out and like put it on and you get a finished look is what you're paying for. Something about these lip kits kind of makes me feel like I'm getting that experience of like having fun, the presentation is good. May not be necessarily something that I wear, but I am having fun applying them. Okay, this is this one is called Untamed. Ooh, Maybelline. Wow, another gray. Dark, dark, dark gray, almost black. Oh, this one's a little hard to apply. It's more stiff. Beware of the butthole. Oh, this looks cute with my look now. Ooh. Okay, now surprise, we're gonna put the green on top. Feels very Mardi Gras. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. This is bomb and I really like it with my hair color because, you know, I was playing with the cool tones and the ashes. Mmm. Th yep, let me get closer. Mm-hmm. Ooh, girl. Ooh. Unforgettable. That's what you are. This is really pretty though. Like, I really am digging this. Where am I wearing? 
is too tall. The last one is in the name Snake Bite. Now this screams Mardi Gras. It's like a green, like an emerald green. This is what it looks like on the packaging, which is stunning for these two. Like I literally think of a snake when I see these colors. Like this is, it's, it's, it's match made in heaven, it's perfect. Oh, this one is insanely pigmented. I don't smell anything at all. That's weird. Some of them smell like vanilla, some of them don't. Easy there, easy. You know, the cool thing about this is the yellow actually mixes in with the blue and it turns into green. Do you see that? Do you see, do you, do, no. No, 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 don't blink. Don't blink, look at this, look at this, look at this, look, 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 look. Right up in here where it's mixed in with the blue, it's turning green. While this isn't really my style, my aesthetic, my look, I can't deny that this looks absolutely amazing on my melanin. Like we're not gonna do, we're not gonna deny that. <laughs> That's beside the point, okay? Truly, truly save the best for last. This is definitely one of the most random lip products that I've ever seen, especially from the drugstore. I don't get drugstore vibe when I look at these. I see a lip product that looks really expensive and really bougie. This takes, I feel like the guesswork out of pairing different colors and like making your lip colors more bold. And hey, maybe you don't like the lip color that's in there. You can still use the shadow with other lipsticks that you have at home, you know? Definitely would recommend using these with a lip brush. Definitely think that these are well worth being under 10 bucks. Absolutely. The more and more I look at this one on camera, the more I fall in love with it. Like it's gorgeous. Did you see what I've done? Came in nude lips, left with a ring one. So I'm definitely feeling inspired. I'm feeling very artsy. I can't really say that these aren't wearable because you know the word wearable is defined in so many different ways by so many different peoples with so many different backgrounds of life. It just depends on what you consider wearable. I was really happy with the product. I think that the color combinations were like spot on. Like I couldn't have thought of a better way to coordinate different products. You know, it takes the guesswork out of it. These are affordable. They're pretty decent quality. I wanna see what it looks like if I put a little bit of shine, a little bit of gloss on top. Oh. Ooh. I use the Too Faced Melted Latex Gloss, by the way. This one definitely, Snake Bite, was hands down one of my favorites. I like these two together. I would never be caught dead in this purple on its own. I mean, I might, like I'd have to be drunk, basically. You know, now that I think of it, I kind of feel like all of my favorite ones were like the blues and the greens and the teals. Venomous was also a banger. Like, it just was to pop in. I really like this collection. Hats off to you, Maybelline. It's two thumbs up for me. I mean, it's a banger. It's inexpensive. It's definitely worth the risk. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review slash demo. You've gotten all the way to the end, so you might as well watch the next one. I mean, I make it so easy for you to find. It's right here. I'm gonna just let my lips do the talking. How about that? Did you click yet? I'm gonna wait, don't worry. I'm gonna just be here waiting.